Pi Network's plan for 2023 revealed, Pi Network's intentions to take on the financial industry are highly ambitious. A new payment system, enormous funds, and many other things are among them. What precisely do they publish? And you'll find out if you watch the entire video. Hello again, Pi Network pioneers. We try our best every day to bring you updates on Pi Network, and the list you can do to help our channel grow is by liking and subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and let's continue. At the beginning of 2018, Pi developed a new brokerage payment solution that enables international financial institutions to settle transactions with particular U.S. brokerages more quickly and affordably, making it easier for clients. The company claims that the new solution, which uses Pi Network blockchain, can lower costs when compared to transactions for foreign brokerage accounts settled through other means of foreign payments. Up to 90% of settlement expenses are incurred by financial institutions. One of the Pi Network core teams revealed that we are continually looking for methods to enable growing companies with global reach to move money in intelligent, quick, and secure ways. Retail customers of FIs that send money to brokerages can now quickly and easily invest in American stocks thanks to our new payment system. The cost of these transactions is significantly reduced by innovative solutions, enabling FIs to either pass along cost savings to their consumers or reinvest revenues into the company. According to the Pi Network core team, its new brokerage solution and global payments network will spur demand for additional partnerships as well as cost savings of up to 90%. Using our network solution, international financial institutions might conserve up to 90% on each transfer. By giving users more affordable transfer choices, these savings can be used to boost volume or balance sheet profitability. According to the following statistics, decreased friction caused by foreign investors participating in the American stock market is linked to increased customer loyalty and brand affinity. Were you aware of this Pi Network plan? Please share your thoughts in the comment area below. And don't forget to comment I love Pi in the comment section of the video. Global financial institutions may use the network to better optimize payments to brokerage accounts in the United States, giving them access to new customers and utilizing Pi low-cost transfers to encourage the formation of new contacts with brokers. Retail investors have flocked to investments in several foreign countries as part of their efforts to diversify their portfolios. By offering them the services they need, financial institutions like banks and brokers must be prepared to meet the expectations of newly entering market participants. With the aid of the Pi Global Payments Network, these multinational corporations are able to preserve their competitive advantage and set themselves apart within their respective industries. A blockchain-based company founded in 2018 uses the superior blockchain technology offered by Pi Network to carry out transactions for its clients in real time. Having direct connections between North and South America, as well as a few places throughout it asserts that it is the first company in Southeast Asia to offer such services. Additionally, Pi has been able to solidify its position in a number of nations, including Australia, Singapore, Malaysia, China, India, and Pakistan, among others, thanks to new connections to the network. Pi Network Pioneers, if you believe that this is fantastic news for Pi, comment, I love Pi. The huge financial objectives of the Pi Network, however, go beyond that. The Pi Network Grants Program, which was started in 2018 and is now in its fifth year, will receive Pi as part of the third wave, the company revealed earlier this week. Since its inception, the fund has contributed about $6 million in total funding to more than 50 open-source applications created on the Pi Network ledger in an effort to speed up development enabling the development of an additional Pi ledger. The first two waves of the Pi Grants program concentrated on NFTs and federated sidechains. The third wave of the program is currently looking for initiatives that will offer open-source contributions to the community. The declaration highlights the defense of the Pi utility. However, expert discovery may be necessary to help determine if the Pi is a security or not, because the is more interested in the marketing and sales plan than the nature of the digital asset itself. A lack of security. Through the grants program, a part of the fund, 
The Pi will offer financial, technical, and business support in order to carry out various new developer initiatives that are a part of the fund's overarching purpose. Over the course of 10 to 20 years, developers are anticipated to receive awards. These funds will let developers create and scale up their applications from proofs of concept to fully-fledged enterprises. The goal of Pi is to assist members of the community in developing and accelerating independent projects that they have started. There is a general fund as well as funds for diversity, sustainability, DeFi, and AN as well as funds allocated to other causes as an accelerator. Do you think this was a wise choice? If so, please remember to like this video. The developer community has seen tremendous growth and passion for building on the Pi Ledger has only increased since the launch of the Pi program. With this new development, we make a long-term commitment to engaging with and assisting the developer community. We are enthusiastic about the possibility for Pi Network users to gain from the offers of the community and vice versa as the community develops and the infrastructure and app ecosystem evolves. They have also made the following preparations in order to carry out their plans. According to a statement made by the CEO in a news release track record and knowledge will be an invaluable resource for the business. Cocalis is a crucial part of Pi expansion strategy and is expected to help the company expand into new regions and accelerate the adoption of its goods and services. Over the past year, they have made significant progress, including enabling mass KYC, implementing a new dynamic mining mechanism, moving pioneers into the mainnet, releasing developer tools for the PI platform, and many more. Now that the core team and pioneers have carried out shared priorities to build a project that reflects our shared goals of a more equitable distributed network built on Pi, we must concentrate on what the entire Pi community can do collectively to advance the primary goals of the enclosed network and bring us closer. These two objectives are merely the beginning. The first objective is the widespread KYC identity verification of the tens of millions of pioneers, followed by the transfer of their mobile mining balances to the PI blockchain, allowing users to KYC and move their PI to the blockchain. The second objective is the development of useful utilities for the Pi cryptocurrency through the Pi ecosystem, allowing users to use their Pi for apps, goods, and services. Two objectives are met and we remove the mainnet firewall in accordance with the 2021 December white paper contained. In order for us to access the open network and complete this course, network goals are necessary. Pi Network depends on the cooperation of all Pi community members. Let's stop here for now if you want to learn more about the Pi Network. Don't forget to subscribe and rate us. Much appreciation for your attendance. Until the next video, take care. Please be aware that cryptocurrency prices are subject to regular fluctuations, so by the time you see this video, the price may have entirely changed. You shouldn't regard any of the material in this video as advice of any kind. It does not constitute financial advice, trading advice, investment advice, or any other kind of advice. The information in this clip is not intended to be financial advice and is strictly for educational purposes. Before making any investment decisions, do your research and speak with a financial advisor.